Hello, you're welcome to a new series, Business Lessons from the Bible. The Bible is not just a religious book, it's a manual for life. Basic information before living earth is the most effective book we need on earth. All through this series, we'll be sharing tips and principles from the Bible that can help enhance our businesses. Stay through and you will be glad you did. Hi, you're welcome to this episode of Business Lessons from the Bible. Today, we'll be dealing with a topic that's very sensitive. I call it purpose and business. I've had cause to deal with this in different fora, and I felt it was necessary we talk about it. You know, but I'll be reading the Bible from Ephesians 2 verse 10. I'll be reading from the message translation. It said, no, we neither make nor save ourselves. God does both the making and the saving. He creates each of us by Christ Jesus to join him in the work he does. The good work he has gotten ready for us to do. Work we had better been doing. It means before God crafted you, he had a work created for you. And he said, that work you had better be doing. You know, God is not that forceful. He created us in his image and his likeness. So he gave us that will to take a decision. That's one thing that makes us like him, that differentiates us from every other created being. We have capacity to take a decision. He said, work you had better be doing. Which means if you're not doing it, it's fine. But that's the best thing you should have been doing, you know. So, Beth, how do we deal with all of this? First, there is a passion. That same breath brought that passion. Your passion is something that you have a very strong desire for. Then there is your vocation. Vocation is that thing that pays the bills. You know, then there is your mission. Your mission in the spiritual environment is what we call your calling, which here now is your purpose the reason why you were created. But the thing is, your passion, your vocation, and your mission can be the same. The best and most aligned people are those who have been able to create their vocation from their mission. And that's what we are hoping that you can do. That is what happens when your purpose becomes your business. So let's look at these few steps you can engage it because truth is we already have established the fact that you don't decide your purpose so what do you do about your purpose you have to first discover it know your purpose then second develop it equip yourself for it like i said that breath came with some gifts came with some talents but this talent is not enough it's required that you take steps to building on these talents the truth is, when you are building on something that is already natural to you, the possibility of becoming exceptional is very easy and is very high. But when you are building on something, you have to go learn. For instance, talking is natural to me. You know, a few classes in public speaking, a few lessons in coaching and consulting makes me work excellently. As opposed to me wanting to go start to play football compared to someone who gifting for football is natural. You know, that's the same thing. Then deploy it. In deploying your purpose, that's where you build a business from. That's where you create a product or a service. Someone asked me a question at some point in time. He said, how do you cope with your engagement with your work, your church, your family and all of that. I say, I practically don't struggle to cope because at work, I do the same thing. In church, all of the responsibilities I accept to be a part of flows along my purpose and passion. That's not to say I may not accept every other responsibility, but I will eventually come back to that place that's natural to me. You know, then at home, of course, leading, teaching my people, raising my family and impacting them is part of what I do. So everything, flows along the same line then haven't deployed it 
by building a product or a service, then you deliver it. That's where marketing and sales of your business. So your purpose can actually become your business. And when you do this, you feed your world, then you feed yourself. And you feed yourself in two ways. You are internally satisfied and externally blessed financially. If you look at, there is one of these videos where Jesus likened his work to food. And we talked about the fact that your food is supposed to, to empower you financially, which is even the last, but emotionally, physically, and mentally. You would have been fed in all of this world because you created your business from your purpose. Thank you for watching. Let's do this again tomorrow. Shalom.